What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as the D365 Geek, and today we are talking about Power Automate and the Office 365 Outlook Connector, and we're going to look at the trigger for when an upcoming event is starting soon. So this trigger allows you to um, trigger a flow based on an event in your calendar about to begin, and you can configure that time. So let's take a look at it. I'm in Power Automate here. I have my list of connectors in the middle, and we can choose the Office 365 Outlook connector on the right. The very bottom trigger is when an upcoming event is starting soon, V3. So we'll click on that. The first and the, uh, the required parameter here is the calendar ID. So this is the calendar that we are going to be looking at, or that Power Automate is going to be polling to find out when something occurs. Uh, so in this instance, I can choose from the drop down. I have two calendars. I have a birthdays calendar and a calendar. The calendar is a default calendar, and that's what I'm going to be using today. Choose that, and I can click on Show Advanced Options, and the Show Advanced Options has the Look Ahead Time. So this is the number in minutes that is going to look in your calendar, and if the time right now is within that time period um, for when that calendar event is about to start. It's going to trigger this flow. So in this instance, we've got um, 15 here. Uh, but what I could do is I could configure this to say, um, let's say this is 60 minutes. So anything within an hour of right now, this will trigger. So what we'll do is we'll click on new step and we'll add compose action. Compose. And what we'll do is we'll add the subject and we'll also add the start time as well so we can see what the start time is. So that's all we need. So let's save this flow and let's test it out. So we'll click on test. I'll perform the trigger and click test. And that'll start running. And now I can head over to my calendar and we can see I've got this calendar event right here. So this calendar event is currently set for one o'clock in the afternoon on Thursday, the 23rd of um, July. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to move it to be within an hour of the time right now. The time right now is about quarter past, uh, 20 past seven, uh, 20 past nine, sorry. Uh, so we're going to set this to be uh, 9.30. And we're going to click save. And what I was going to do is that's going to, the, the Power Automate flow is going to check my calendar. It's going to find the, the next, the if a, an event is coming up within the next 60 minutes, it's going to see that event is going to happen in the next 13 minutes, uh, and therefore it's going to trigger and it's going to um, give me a like you know trigger that flow. So um, I have found that this trigger is sometimes a little slow uh, to start out with. Um, I think it's because I'm, I'm messing around and, and changing these things. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video right here and we'll come back to this in a couple minutes. Hey guys, so we're back with this and we can see that this is run successfully. So this is pulled through the, uh, the subject and then the time that this is running. Now, one thing that I did know and I didn't actually realize at the time when I was testing this out was that this actually runs at UTC. So um, my calendar is at UTC uh, and this is at UTC. Although if I go back to my calendar, it's kind of, it shows it. Um, so the time at the moment um, is, is 22.04, uh, but this event is showing at 21.35, which says in 32 minutes. So this calendar is taking it at, uh, at UTC and we're in British summer time at the moment in the UK and therefore it didn't trigger and didn't work the way I expected. Uh, I think I can just change the setting in here to, um, yeah, so this is the, the time zone. So you do need to be aware of the time zone that the calendar is in for this to work. So this is set to UTC, it's currently BST at the moment. So when I initially set this to run, it didn't actually run properly because it wasn't within um, 60 minutes of the time in UTC and I'm in BST, so that was the whole thing. So be aware of the time zone the calendar is in um, because little things like that can trip you up as it did with me. Um, because I was there, like, I don't understand why it says this and says that, and it's not triggering. So good thing to be aware of, make sure you know um, at least the, the time zone the calendar is in because that's the time zone it's going to trigger in. So in my instance, it was in UTC, so it triggered in UTC and not BST, which is what we're currently in.
So what do you guys think? Is this uh, a, a, a trigger that you will use a lot? Is it not a trigger uh, that you use a lot? Uh, you get these sorts of things in Outlook anyway. It pops up and it says, you know, 15 minutes to your meeting. You could do something like 15 minutes and then, you know, add a to do or, you know, do something else, uh, you know, trigger it on your mobile device that you've got a meeting coming up, something like that. Um, just let me know in the comments down below what you'll be using this for. If you like this video and you found it helpful, if you could um, if you could drop a like and uh, share it with a friend, that would be much appreciated. If you've not already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'll see you next time.